Around the year 800, the Prussian system began to change. More autonomy was given to local chiefdoms, the so-called pulkas, and these began to form the basis of Prussian state creation. Each pulka acted like a separate chieftainship and was equivalent to the Slavic Pole, which, before the formation of the larger Slavic states, had the same role but in Slavic areas. They were also able to make decisions at a higher level through tribal assemblies. Nota bene, tribe is an incorrect but popular term used for the Balts and Slavic ethnic groups. However, this fragmentation didn't last until the collapse, as in the following centuries, external factors forced local chiefs and their primitive democracies to become more centralised. In 1225, Konrad Mazowiecki settled the Teutonic Knights in Malanyashauka. This is the beginning of barbaric invasion, erasure of ancient Baltic culture, wild Germanization of the language, and mass murder of the Prussian population. Supposedly motivated by the spread of Christianity. Christianity having nothing to do with the pacifist teachings of Jesus. Teutonic Germanization, combined with the wiping out of real history by the church, was so effective that to this day, German nationalists consider Prussia to be eternally German. Situation of the Prussians was tragic. More than once the armies invading their lands had more crusader, so the best equipped, knights, than the Prussian lands had total population. Prussians, seeing their situation, Christianized themselves over time, begging the Pope to stop murdering the innocent Christian population of Prussia, but they were betrayed by everyone. 
all of Europe sending armies there had to complete the goal of total annihilation of the Prussians. Even a hero like Hercus Monte of Natangia, despite defeating a much stronger enemy, in the long term had no chance with the endless support flowing from all over Europe to the Teutonic Order.